It's Feedback Gaming. So in the last episode, we managed to hold back our control. Uh, I, yeah, I, I feel like we firmly... Uh, the previous episodes, we were combating, we were fine, we are bringing it back. And I feel like in the last episode, we, we did a really good job of just holding on to everything that we actually had. The British Navy now has been dwindled down to just a few ships. Pretty nothing, to be honest with you. We've sunk at least six or seven of the carriers. All we're hitting now is convoys. We're holding the main trade routes. Well, most of them anyway. Um, we could probably do a hit in the Suez Canal. From a strategic perspective, actually, we probably should grab this. If we could maybe... Yeah, if we could maybe grab these and push through Saudi Arabia, we could secure the Suez Canal. Yeah, Iraq and Turkey have joined the Comintern, so we just technically have to fight through Saudi Arabia. Hmm. And then grab the Suez Canal and then fortify the river and the, around here. Because we don't really need to hold any, any any further into Africa. Oh, I don't know, maybe. Maybe we can grab the Chromium. Hmm. That is on the back burner, because we have other plans, okay? We need to take out Australia and New Zealand, okay? I don't think they're going to put much of a fight. Let's have a look. There are 14, 16 divisions, 23 factories. Factories pretty heavy. All adults serve. New Zealand scraping. Eight factories, 22, 32. So the, equally, when it comes down to amount of men on the ground, they're pretty equally strong. So the, what we were testing out is to see if we could do an amphibious invasion just based with just based with aircraft as support. Oh, we hit we hit a British battleship. Ooh, a level one. I said George the fifth, and I thought fifth. Oh, I got a level five battleship. There is no level five. It's a level four. That's max. I, I panicked. I thought it was like a really high level ship. Can we go? No, we lack insufficient intel to send an invasion though. Assign more navies or air wings in this mission, or cover the area with radar. Or oh, with radar. Ooh, it's really something I've never really thought about. That you know. Hmm. I think we might go... I, I would imagine my puppets have researched... Yeah, I would imagine my puppets have researched. Let's just do that for a second. Cause I want to make sure these ones at the bottom are still getting production. Hmm... Okay. So I think we're going to have to fabricate on Cuba. 25 days. Battle report. Ooh, we've lost a few battles in the Florida Sea. We lost these battles? Really? I don't think we have. I don't know why they classed those as losses. Yeah, I'm aware of the new tanks. I'm going to go for modern tank now. Why is that a defeat? He says we damaged the battleship, but yeah, that classes as a defeat. Why? Okay. All right, anti-air field hospitals. That's all good. Um, my thought process is I don't really heavily care about losses because I said to you, I still have not. I've still not got an extensive conscription yet. So, yeah, I don't actually care. Cassus Belly against Cuba. Working on that. Anti air. Doctrines is done. Let's go for the subs. Change out the battle. Not the battleships, the mechanized. We're working on flexible line, but do you know what? It's got to the stage in the game now where I feel my production is so insane. I don't mind taking the retention damage. I don't care. I love that new upgrade notification. That is so freaking cool. We don't need that many guns anymore either. All victories. Cassis Belly against Cuba. Can we make the airbase bigger, maybe? We 
We've annexed them. Why have they still got troops? We're going to keep reorganized China, though. Actually, no. What we'll do is we'll, we'll prep them as if we're going to annex them. Yeah, we'll prep them as if we're going to annex them, and then when we do want to annex them, we'll be able to do it at a flick of a finger. Two divisions there, that's something to be concerned about. So if I declare war on Cuba, I have to send my troops over to here. But will I have enough air superiority to do that? That's the question. How's the resistance going? Pretty frickin' bad. <laughs> How many do we need? 106. Fuck. We're gonna have to train some more troops for China, aren't we? What's the max we can make? 100? There we go, I'll make 100. We've actually got the, the, the equipment to actually do that as well, that's insane. Okay, go here. We'll make it another nine. But that'd be a hundred and two hundred and thirty, wouldn't it? Perfect. Alright, I wanna make sure this episode actually has content in it, okay? <laughs> Cause I don't wanna just sit about again. Um, we are waiting around because the wait, longer we wait, the better. Because you think about we're still starving them out of all the materials, so we're gonna have a production advantage over them. Oh, look, the Soviet Union took Catalonia. Oh, and there seems to be two Spains. Ah, okay. <laughs> Got new submarines too. New Submarino. New Submarinos are going to be assigned to Kansai. Kansi? I don't want to make too many submarines. Just a few to mix into my air force. And close air support and get them carrier based. All victories. Yes. Oh, actually, I need to keep an eye on this. This war goal is going to end on the 19th of May. It doesn't actually matter if we do it now or later. There is no real surprise for this, is there really? Cuba's joined the Allies. Yay. Caribbean Sea lack of insufficient intel. You can invite to faction Venezuela. <laughs> oh shit, they actually want to join. Fuck. Should we let them join? <laughs> I don't know what to do with that, actually. Hmm. I'm really tempted, actually, because that's pretty perfect, isn't it? The only issue I'm going to find is if I put them in my faction, is we're going to need to build roads inside of their country, and I'm not sure if they'll let us. So it might just be easy to invade them. It feels really silly to say that, you know, like, oh, it's easy to invade them over letting them join my faction. It should be easy to let them join the faction. I should be able to allow to build inside them. But I'm not sure if that's actually possible in this new DLC. I'm not actually sure. I don't know. I don't know. Damn the repairs. It's crazy. I'm crazy to see how many divisions this is going to need. 144. This is probably like the best example to show off this new ability that you can see how many troops you can get garrison. I don't know, this is like the best example ever. I hate the fact when you click on a division, it moves you over, it moves your eyes over to that de destination. I wish they get rid of that. Please, paradox, please. Still making those troops, yes, one line of them and then we're done. Do you want to release them early? Yeah, sure. Oh, what? We won over? No.
and then assign them to here. Yep. Oh, man, it's so weird that Venezuela wants to join. Ooh, we're taking some losses here. Oh, I think it's... We got a fleet that we can use on hand. Finland's capitulated. What was that? Oh, the Red Finland's joined the common turn. Fine, fine, fine. <clears throat> We're working on that. Do we want the amphibious one again? I guess so, because it's just a tech that, that's really, really useful, isn't it? What's this? Oh, it's uh, Dutch submarines. Flexible line is finished, and more construction. Updated equipment, more light cruisers. I think I'll replace the ones we've got. I don't care, we lose production. Uh, light cruiser. Oh shit, I replaced it with the wrong one, whoops. Maybe we should make a variant of the light cruiser. We went for the anti-air and the gun, didn't we? We're also going to spawn them here as well. This is going to be our new model fleet. As good as it gets. Outdated equipment, what? Oh, we've got three lines of light cruisers. Wow, okay. I guess the next la final thing to do is to make some more carriers, I imagine. The, the best carriers in the game. Okay. No, he's not moving, is he? Hmm. Hmm. What to do? Do I, I'm not actually sure if that radar will help us, you know. But I want to research it just for the sake of it. So what we'll do is do technology sharing, and then when the car the carrier. Naval bombers finish, we'll switch out to that. And we'll research the first radar. Look at the trade and supply. Almost a thousand convoys. It's crazy. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. No. The technology sharing made fucking no difference. Suppress subjects, technology sharing, construction. Need to replace a thousand of them. Ah, it's such a shame that we can't do that. It's not showing these on the log anymore, are they? No, it's not getting shown on the log. Have you got a lot of experience? Yeah, you've got tons of experience. That Sea Wolf is so awesome. That Submarine Wolf one is so awesome, isn't it? The 20% extra attack. That's insanely huge. Alright, they're arriving. My troops are arriving. Uh, da, 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 da. I lost one there. Cool. I'm just wondering if I put a radar, if it's going to make any difference. I don't think it actually will, but we'll, we'll see. How close is my puppet way from getting integrated? We're not going to do it straight away, because I said I need that China, because with that China I can use all the manpowers.
And what's the range on this? Because this is a carrier base, and usually that's the floor is they don't have as much range. Where is it? Regional range 823. I think that's... I don't know, is it in like 1,500 for the regular one? I can't even bother to look it up. Yay! Um, extraction will be alright. Carrier, carrier. <laughs> okay. Uh, yep. That's where I want. Hang on, have I made two? I was wanting two of the same, didn't I? There we go, yeah, yeah. Okay, we'll get rid of one of these layers. That's done. Get shoved to the bottom. Get rid of one of these. There we go. We need lots of steel now. So it's going to be available in four or five months? Yeah. Yep. Oh shit, I meant too many. Have I meant too many? Don't care. I've got a new model of tank, I'm aware of that. The Chiri. Do 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 do. Okay, radar. How close? Another six or so days. <laughs> Let's have a little cheeky look at the UK to see how their research is going. Radar, 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 radar. Here we go. Yeah, let's see if they are import and export and see what's going on. They're importing a oil. They're not using any rubber. Is that because they're choosing not to? Because they don't have any. They're free trade as well. They're importing oil. France has been importing oil. No rubber, though, of any kind. They're importing 56... Yeah, from me, probably. <laughs> They're importing 208 oil. Okay. Is that all of... Oh, I've already built that up. What am I doing? Now I think about it, I've not actually built up Tokyo ever either. And here too. Here too, here too. <laughs> as soon as we repair them, new ones appear. So I look at the suppression screen. So we're having more of a problem in India now, which is weird. I, I think it might be because I'm overloading the system, maybe. There's so many... I don't know, actually. Hmm, okay. Where's the radar? We just made it. Have we made it? Yep, we have radar. Doesn't seem to be offering us anything, though. So what does it say? So, so this is information is kind of wrong, isn't it? It says the lack of intel to send an invasion through. Invasions need more radar or air cover. The, I, there really is no more air cover. I have 100% air superiority in this region. Well, actually, no. But I have a lot.
really can't get any more control than what I've already got here. 95%, 68%. Yeah, the naval bomber range is pretty bad. Carriers are almost done. I guess I should probably make three carriers, shouldn't I? I'm going to have to wait longer now. Because three is the optimal amount, isn't it? Three is the magic number. We'll just keep those as a, a filter when these top ones run out. All right, modern tank is finished. Let's mo move on to modern tanks. Modern tanks. Modern... No, we've got a little bit of an experience, but no, it's not worth bothering. Modern tanks, shift that to the top. Another modern tank row. Yeah, sure. Another one. Damn. That is some insane production. Hang on. That's a light tank. How much? How many lights have I got? 20,000. Damn. Okay, we need chromium now, right? We need steel. We've got lack of convoys to actually do that. And we need chromium too. <laughs> okay, too many. We'll hold off a little while, and then we'll, uh, when we've got the production, we'll do it. That should ease the problem a little bit with the excavation, just a little bit though. I'm really feeding the Soviet economy here, aren't I? Um, logistics, because I'm going to have a divisions that are going to be very supply heavy. Has this made any difference? Let's try it one more time. I feel like this is like an experiment just for me, you know. Yeah, I just want to see if this is possible. Another one here, maybe. Okay. Oh, Iranian community authority has been puppeted. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, hello. I completely forgot about Afghanistan, you know. They're part of the common turn now. The Cold War has begun. For some really bizarre reason that the prompt at the top of the screen has disappeared and I don't actually know how to get it back. Oh no. Um, yeah, I don't know how to get it back. Wait the 20 days. Yeah, I'm sorry guys, this is probably one of the more boring episodes, I'm really sorry. Uh, there's been really action-packed at this point, hasn't it? And at this point, we've, uh, we've been sat here making radars. I guess I'm doing this from my own experimentation, because I'm not actually too sure if this actually does work. The game's telling me I need to make more radar to do this. I guess, I, I, I imagine probably, this is my prediction, that you guys are screaming at me, telling me to get Venezuela to join, but I don't want to do that. I really don't. Now I think about it, we probably should base a few more, shouldn't we? Radar stations, just to make sure we get as much coverage as possible. Anywhere else you think is going to be super relevant? I don't think so. See, I still don't really know the, how the stats work for radars, you know. I feel like it'd be nice if the game just told you, oh, it gives you an attack bonus for air or naval attack or detection or something. But I'm not really sure how it works. I think it gives you detection. And I think it also gives you an interception bonus as well. But I really am not sure. Uh, 
Rockets and nukes, maybe? Hey, the battleships are finishing. Uh, carriers. Well, the experiment is over. It made no difference. <laughs> made no difference. Are they actually finished? Oh, they're not actually done. So we're just going to try level two and that, see if that actually makes any difference. That was it, wasn't it? Florida, is it finished? As you can see, it's got the coverage. There's no missions in this region. Naval supremacy, 67%. So it does kind of look like we are actually doing something, maybe? <laughs> I feel like this is my own personal experiment, this, guys. I feel like I'm in investing quite a lot into this. Um... Thousand. Close air support. Thousand. Go here. I just want to see if you can do a naval invasion without actual a navy. That's what I'm trying to find out right now. Aircraft detection, controlled radar in range, naval supremacy 71%. No. <laughs> okay, this experiment was an absolute failure. I'm really sorry, guys. This episode has been absolutely boring. My bad. This episode is going to be titled Baking Radar. No, I'm joking. It's not. <laughs> Oh man, we should probably just blitz through through Central Africa maybe. I don't really want to like drag everyone into this war though, that's my problem. Uh, all the uh, end level ships need chromium. That's like the end level tech gear. One, two, three. Boom, boom, boom. There you go. Okay. There's a resistance stoop dude. What we're going to do now is go on. There's a resistance. A resistance growth minus two. So this should maybe have an effect on suppression law, maybe. I'm not sure. These are my tank divisions. Put them in Texas. Mm, these are another army here. Peru has a bit of oil. They're producing and they're also importing it. Weird. I feel like I want to attack Peru, maybe. Peru, Brazil, Venezuela. Yeah, let's do that. We're going to take Cuba out at some stage as well. We're not going to beat around the bush, guys. We're just going to land on Lima. You're going to keep you guys there, because we will come back to you at some stage. Oh, they've demanded Bessarabia. Okay. Romania is democratic. Okay. The Soviet Union has declared war on Latvia. This is interesting, because this may actually cause the Allies to declare war on the Soviet Union, and that would be so perfect. 
And I'd be actually kind of interested to see an actual Cold War scenario in Europe. That'd be pretty spooky. Justification against Lima is complete, and we have not fully prepared yet. We need another 10 days. How many divisions have they got? So this is a combination of tanks and marines. I think with these should do quite well. Alright, these are all... Mainly infantry, mo mo mechanized infantry. Hmm, okay. The Hellenic Republic has joined the Allies. There we go. Guys, if you enjoyed this episode, remember to like and subscribe, turn on notifications, and leave a comment below. I will see you guys next time. We're going to invade Peru and Brazil and Venezuela. This will s pretty much cement my control over all the resources in the world. There's pretty much going to be very little rubber and oil left, uh, so that way I'll definitely have control. And they've joined the Allies, as I thought they would. Have a good day, everyone. Bye-bye.